Hi, this is Katherine Schmer, and we're going to do another example on curvature and normal vectors of a curve. This, this example will involve sine and cosine, which um, will let us review our Pythagorean identity for sine and cosine. So we want to find um, the unit tangent, the principal unit normal, and curvature for the space curve r of t equals 5 cosine cubed of t i plus 5 sine cubed of t j. And they give us this restriction, t is between 0 and pi over 2. That will not factor into our calculation, it just tells us um, where we are, what our restriction of for our domain is. So our um, unit tangent vector is velocity over the magnitude of velocity, so we want to find those pieces first. I'm going to rewrite r of t, my position vector, as 5 cosine of t quantity cubed i. So I'm, all I'm doing is rewriting it in a form that will be easier to recognize how to use the uh, chain rule plus 5 parentheses sine of t quantity cubed j. So that cubed, cosine cubed of t, is the same as cosine of t cubed, and same with sine. Sine cubed of t is the same as sine of t cubed. So using the chain rule now, I'm going to um, bring the 3 down in front, so I get 15 cosine of t squared, times the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is cosine, so the derivative is negative sine of t. So that's my i component. 15 cosine squared of t times negative sine of t i plus 15 sine of t squared times cosine of t j. So using the chain rule on each component. So there's my velocity. Now I want the magnitude of velocity. So if I square each component, I get magnitude of velocity equals the square root of 225 cosine to the fourth of t times sine squared of t plus 225 sine to the fourth of t times cosine squared of t. Now I want, I want to factor out the common factors. So I know they both have a 225, and they both have a cosine squared of t sine squared of t. So what's left over from the first term is a cosine squared of t, and from the second term is a sine squared of t. And this is perfect. This is exactly what I want to end up with, cosine squared of t plus sine squared of t, because our Pythagorean identity says that that equals 1. So now all I'm taking the square root of is 225 cosine squared of t sine squared of t, which is a perfect square. So I get 15 cosine of t sine of t. And that's the magnitude of velocity. So now the unit tangent vector equals negative 15 cosine squared of t sine squared of t divided by the magnitude of velocity, 15 cosine of t sine of t i, and my j component is 15 sine squared of t cosine of t divided by the magnitude of velocity, 15 cosine of t sine of t. When I simplify this, it becomes this nice little um, vector, negative cosine of t i plus sine of tj. There's my unit tangent. And that is going to make the rest of my calculation so easy because remember our principal unit normal vector is the derivative of the unit tangent divided by the magnitude of the derivative of the unit tangent. So capital T prime of t equals sine of ti plus cosine of tj. Just take the derivative of the unit tangent that we found. The magnitude of 
capital T prime of t equals the square root of sine squared of t plus cosine squared of t, which we just discussed equals 1. And so our principal unit normal vector is sine of ti plus cosine of tj. So it works out so nicely when you can get that Pythagorean identity, cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. So last thing um, we want is the curvature. Curvature, remember, kappa equals 1 over the magnitude of velocity times the magnitude of capital T prime of t. So that's 1 over 15 cosine of t sine of t times 1. So that gives us a curvature of 1 over the quantity 15 cosine t sine t.